Hello and welcome to this channel. In today's video, we are going to use the newly introduced Gemini for Flutter package to create a fitness coach application. So this is how it looks like. We have two options for the user. One is to generate the workout plan and the other one is just quick start. The quick start is a list of pre-made plans that the user can quickly select. So if we click on start now in the quick start, it shows different options for the workout. And when we click on each one, it's going to show the description, the details of the exercise and a little video at the top. But the main feature is to generate the workout plan. So when the user clicks on this option, the user needs to select the fitness goal and the experience level. For example, we are going to select build muscle for fitness goal and we are going to select beginner for the experience level. Then we are going to click on generate workout plan. And when the user clicks on this button, all the fitness goal and experience level information is collected and is sent to the Gemini using a prompt in the code. Then we get the response and we parse the response to show it in the app. So if we scroll, we can see that we have different sections inside the answer of the Gemini. Now let's get to the coding. Inside the pubspec.yaml, we need Flutter Gemini firebase core and path provider let's look at the flutter gemini package inside the flutter gemini that was published only two months ago we can see it's a great feature to bring the gemini into the flutter and using this package we can easily use the gemini inside our applications so to get us started we need to have the api key and inside the description, we have a link to getting the API key. When you click on it, you will be directed to this page. We click on this button. We click on Get API Key in Google AI Studio. And in here, you can create your API key. And then you need to go to this plan section and set up your billing. Even if it is free, you need to set up the billing for this profile in order for it to work. Then we have this API key that you need to copy and use in the application. So back in the code and inside the application, if we go to the home page, what do we need in this application? First, we have our home page. Then we have the generate workout plan then we have the quick start so each one will get their own screen and we can create separate files for them as always we have the main dot dart inside the main dot dart we initialize application we have the widgets flutter binding then we initialize the gemini we say gemini dot init and the API key. We provide the API key that we created earlier in the website. In this way, we link the application to the Gemini. Then in the build, we have a normal and usual build function and the home is my home page. So we have another page for my home page, which is this one. So my home page needs to have two cards one is to generate workout plan and the other one is to have a quick start so inside the build function we have single child scroll view in order to have all of our content in the page to appear in one screenshot if the screen size on the device is small it allows the user to scroll then we have some paddings and then we have a column. Inside the column, we have the text at the top, fitness coach app. Then we have some text underneath it, then size box, and we have the first card. So the first card 
is going to be generating workout plan. We have some text inside the card to describe what it does. Then we have an icon, which is a fitness center icon. And when the user clicks or taps on the card, what happens? We show that with navigator.push and we direct the user to the generate workout plan screen. And the user is directed to that screen. Then we have a sized box and another card, which is the quick start. So for that, we have the quick start workout. And how we create these cards is another widget. So we created a separate widget for this one, which is the card that has some elevation. And we have set some shape settings, border radius. And then we have the inkwell, the border radius for that one. We have some padding and then we have some columns for the text and some coloring and themes. So let's go to the first one, the first card generate workout plan. As we mentioned, we are going to direct the user to another screen and we create a new file called generate workout plan screen, which is this one. And when we click on the card, we go to this page. So what happens in this page? First, we need to have a list of the fitness goal and the experience level that we want to get from the user. For the fitness goal, we mention lose weight, build muscle, improve cardiovascular health, increase flexibility, and enhance overall fitness. For the experience levels, we can have the beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Then we move to the build function. Inside the build function, we have a scaffold, then app bar, which has a text, then padding, and then column. Inside the column, we have a text that says, select your fitness goal. Inside this, we need to have a way for the user to select the fitness goal from the list that we provide. So we are going to use the choice chip. Choice chip is like what we have here. Choices that the user can click and when they click on it, it changes how it looks. And what we are going to show in this fitness goal is the list that we created before, which has the name fitness goals. So inside the wrap, by the way, wrap is used when we want our application and the choice chip to be visible regardless of the screen size. It's a widget that helps to show the choices to the user in an optimal way, depending on the screen size of the device. So inside the wrap, we have the choice chip that shows the fitness goals, all the fitness goals that we defined in the list. Next, we have the same thing for experience level. We again use the choice chip to offer the user to select the experience level. And underneath that, we have elevated button. Inside the elevated button on pressed, we are going to check for validation. If the selected goal is empty or the experience is empty, then we are going to send this information to the Gemini. And we do this with generate workout plan function. So let's go to this function. In this function, we first create an instance of Gemini. Then we are going to send the prompt to the Gemini. And this is how we say it. Generate a structured workout plan for someone with the goal of, then we put the variable for selected goal and experience level. We put the variable for the experience level that the user selected. The plan should include one work cup, exercises, two main workout routine, three cool down exercises, and four nutrition tips. Then we asked Gemini to format the response as a JSON object with these keys. This is going to be helpful when the Gemini returns the response to the application. If you want to just dump 
all the answers from Gemini, you can just write the prompt and no need to mention format the response as a JSON object. In that way, whatever the Gemini returns is going to be displayed on the screen. But we want to format that response and we want to parse it and show it in a nice way. So we asked the Gemini to format the response in a JSON object so that we can parse it and we can show it on screen inside the cards, for example. Then after that, we have parse workout plan function that is going to parse the response from Gemini. This is the function. So inside this one, we have the response and we go through the response and we decode the JSON using JSON decode function. And then based on different parts of the JSON that we specified, we specify each section and what it, what it is about and how we are going to use each section. Then we have another function process, JSON response. In this one, for each part of the JSON, like warm up, main workout, cool down, and nutrition tips, we are going to separate them into different sections. And then for each one, we can go ahead and process them line by line and create a list from the response. This all depends on the way that you want to interact with Gemini. It all depends on the prompt that you send to Gemini. You can ask Gemini to format this in a comma separated value format or CSV. You can ask it for the response to be formatted in the JSON object, or you can just ask one simple question, what the main workout should be. It all depends on you and how you want to process the response from the Gemini. So after we have all the responses from Gemini, we are going to show them to the user using this function, build workout plan display. Inside here, we have a column and inside each column, we have card for each response section. For example, warm up has one card. Main workout is like another card. Cool down, another card. So we can see each section has one specific card. In your application, whatever it is, you can get the response and for example, you can create a link to that part of the response from Gemini. And when the user clicks on that link, the user is directed to the next screen and the response appears on the screen. So let's go back and for the second card in our homepage, the quick start. This is just some static workout plan and pre-made plans. We have this page and we have this file, quick start workout. In here, we just have a list of pre-made workout plans and we have set the URL to the video or the, or the GIF. Then we have the description, we have the exercises in different sections. Then for each one, we can display it inside a list. And when the user clicks on each quick workout, they go to a different page, which is going to be quick workout detail. In here, it's just a simple column. And inside the column, we have the name of the workout, we have the GIF, and we have some description and exercises. So when you are working with Gemini, the important thing is to have a way to get the information from user and then send that information along with the prompt to the Gemini and get the response and parse the response in a way that is nice to display. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.